So the next step after we have our stale fuel draining out of the tank here is going to be to open up this bleeder valve uh, that allows the fuel to come out this overflow tube or the drain tube um, on the carburetor. And the reason we do not just open this up and drain all the fuel from the tank system here is uh, because if you watch our other video with the ethanol um, and how that destroys small engines, the last thing we want to do is take the risk that there might be gel-like solution coming through this fuel line, coming down into here, and then getting inside this carburetor bowl. So if we can help it, we're going to try not to sell the, sell the customer a carburetor rebuild um, as it's new equipment, and he, he doesn't want to, obviously, if he doesn't have to. Um, in most cases, we would recommend, even if this works, to potentially consider the carb rebuild just as I've seen this work in the past and customers go home and, and then things can just, there might be something in here that didn't plug up until, you know, shortly after it gets running again. Um, however, in these cases being new equipment, that one over there panned out to be running, in my opinion, just how it should. So we're going to try to save this one essentially as well before the ethanol, to, uh, you know, pretty much creates this needing a carb rebuild as well. So, yep, drain it out of the tank, then crack your bleeder valve, drain what's left in here, replenish this with good known fuel, and give it a test run. If all goes well, cross your fingers, and um, it should be good to go. All right, you guys, peace.